Hello BookTube! Welcome to Lizzie Faye Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and today is Vlogmas, day one. Yes, I decided at the last minute in a probably what I should describe as a fit of insanity that I'm going to try doing Vlogmas this year. I thought about it a little bit last year and I wasn't sure I could keep up the pace and I probably have more going on in my life this year than I did last year and I really shouldn't be doing this but I have so many videos that I want to to do and that I just thought Vlogmas would be a great excuse to get those done. Now in the middle of all of that I've got a lot going on and so I thought I would give you a little life update today but what I plan to do for Vlogmas is of course my regular videos like my November wrap up, my December TBR, I've got some tags that I need to do that I've been tagged in and I've got another original tag that I want to throw out there and then I have a couple of other ideas of things that I want to do and I've been saying for a while that I want to do Saturday shelfy tours and give you a bookshelf tour of my books and so when you add all that up it's almost 24 videos so why not just do vlogmas so tomorrow I should be starting with my December TBR uh, and then on Saturday I will do my first Saturday shelfy and then after that I will try to get my November wrap up done and then we'll go from there. So here's why I probably shouldn't be doing Vlogmas this year. I have just returned from a trip to Oklahoma for Thanksgiving and if you've been following my channel you know that in October I went to Oklahoma as well because I'm selling my childhood home and I still had things stored out there that I needed to retrieve and still some cleaning out of spaces, storage spaces that needed to be done. And in the house I had one garage full of storage and then another outbuilding that we had yet to finish cleaning out. So what I did in October predominantly was clean out the garage and I moved everything to storage. And then right before Thanksgiving my family and I hopped in our motorhome and we drove out there and I spent a day working in the the one outbuilding that still needed to be cleaned out. It's what we it's what my family refers to as the bunkhouse. And it's a building that my dad built. It has three rooms. We got the middle room, the middle room which was the tack room was all cleaned out. The um, north room was my dad's office where he kept all of his books and letters and papers and bills and files and all that kind of stuff and when my dad died in 1986 my mother never got it cleaned out she just couldn't bring herself to do it so it was still sitting there basically in a time warp uh when it, just almost the way my dad left it now we had cleaned out a good portion of it right after my mom died but we didn't get it all done and so i knew that i needed to finish that job and get everything cleared out of there and then the room at the other end of the bunkhouse was stuff that my mom had stored there when she retired from school teaching and I didn't know what I would find but the you know over the years the the rats and everything else had just made a shambles of the room and we just had to go through a lot of layers of stuff to get to the bottom and then found some real treasures so it's really it was a really cool thing but what my family and I did was rent a U-Haul trailer which we loaded up with everything from storage and everything that was salvageable that I wanted to keep from the bunkhouse and we hauled it back to Florida we arrived here on Tuesday evening late and so yesterday all day we spent unloading it figuring out where to put everything basically my back porch which is a screened in porch is piled high with boxes all the boxes that I need to go through sort and figure out what to do with then in the house <laughs> there are several extra pieces of furniture that I couldn't bear to part with that I really would like to just have for our new house when we build a new house but there's no other place to put it except in the house we live in right now that alone is enough but just wait till you hear what happened to us just trying to get here so we picked up the trailer Hooked, had it hooked to the motorhome by the girl at the U-Haul place who I might add we found out later really didn't know what she was doing. Randy was pulling the trailer with the motorhome and I was following behind in my brother's pickup just you know watching and I watched as the trailer detached itself and flew off down into the embankment. Thankfully it didn't fly into oncoming traffic. So we lost a couple of hours there while we waited for you hauled a sense of one to tow it and then Randy had to go back and get another trailer 
thankfully they had the U-Haul powers that be had called the store manager and had him come out and hook up our new trailer so we were after dark getting it loaded uh, so that was Saturday Sunday morning I got up bright and early went and continued to work in the room that still was piled high with stuff and uh, stopped and went to church because I really wanted to see some old friends and came back and spent the rest of the afternoon just doing all we could making sure that you know we, we still didn't get it all cleaned out but we got everything out that was salvageable that I wanted to keep and you know I just had to leave a little bit for the people who are buying the house and I hated to do it but we were just out of time so we pulled out of Oklahoma we drove all night I say we my husband drove all night because I was not touching the motorhome with the trailer I just wasn't confident enough about that now I do drive the motorhome but even that is a little nerve-wracking so no problems during the night but the next day probably late morning I think we hear a boom boom and kind of looked around you know looked out back I didn't see anything we had hit so I wasn't really sure kept on going and maybe an hour later we hear another bigger bubble and pulled over and our two back passenger side tires on the motorhome had blown so the first bump was obviously one of those tires and had we stopped and got out and seen it we probably could have saved the second one but we didn't so now we're sitting on the side of the road with only one spare and two blown tires. So we are able to call the tire place that's close enough that can come out, bring us a new tire, put on our spare, and you know, a couple hours later we're on our way. <laughs> so we stop for lunch, a couple hours later, then another BAM! <laughs> and we pull over because the spare has blown. Oh my goodness. We just can't catch a break, it seems like. But, you know, when it's all said and done, I'm thankful. I'm thankful we made it here safely. We, you know, my husband did not lose control of the vehicle. He was able to pull over safely. We didn't get hit while we were on the side of the road. We had people who were able to come and we had, we thought to call our insurance the second time and they found somebody to send to give us, you know, bring us a second tire. But by this time it was after 5 p.m and so we had to wait until after dark finally you know someone was there and helped us out so we just had quite an adventure getting here and I'm thankful to say now that the trailers unloaded it has been returned back to U-Haul I hope to never ever have to have that experience again although we will be moving within I'd say maybe two years as soon as we can sell one house then um, uh, our plan after we sell this Oklahoma house which we have a buyer we're just in the process of trying to get a closing date um, we hope to build a garage with storage above on our new on our property so that we can then haul a lot of the clutter we have here out to there and then sell this house then we'll probably maybe I don't know live in our motorhome next to the garage while we sell this house or maybe if whoever buys it wants to rent it back to us then we can do that while we build a new house and so that's kind of our long-range plan and I didn't mean to go into all that on this <laughs> vlogmas video I really want this to be a short video but I just wanted to tell you what all has been going on in my life and why this probably isn't the best time for me to be doing vlogmas because I have a back porch full of boxes that I've got to go through I have a mountain of laundry to be done from our trip and I have just a boatload of things that I've got to do but I can't stop reading I can't stop making videos I'm totally addicted now to making videos and I do have one coming up very soon that I filmed while I was on my trip my brother was very willing to do a video um, my sister as you guys know has been in a video with me before so I did a sibling challenge with my siblings and we did a video together so that will be coming up sometime during vlogmas and I'm excited to show you that I have not even started editing that but I hope that it will be a lot of fun and you will enjoy seeing that but for now that's all I have for this video I hope to see you tomorrow and every day from now till Christmas so I hope you're having a great day read a good book and God bless you